What was the best book you ever heard? In this video, I will be talking about how I got started in audiobooks and what brought on my love for audiobooks. Stay tuned and we'll get to that after the intro. Welcome back to the DL Jones Books channel. I'm DL Jones. I'm the author of the brand new book, The Injection, which is out now and I'll have links to get that in the show notes below. Let me ask you something. What was the first audiobook you've ever listened to? For me, the first audiobook I ever listened to was the book written by Dean Koontz named Cold Fire. This was years ago when I first heard about it. I had a friend that I used to work with that used to always listen to audiobooks every time I saw him, he had headphones on. I thought he was listening to music, but one day I asked him what he was listening to and he was like, audiobooks. Just me noticing that he was listening to so many audiobooks as we were working just made me, made me interested in wanting to try it out. I was like, you know, that's good. You have something to occupy your mind while you're going throughout your workday. So I asked him, how does he, how did he do it? Where he get the audiobooks from? Well, he gave me a USB, a thumb drive with a few audiobooks on it. One of those audiobooks was Dean Koontz Cold Fire. Of course, back then, you know, this was before Audible or I don't think Audible was out. Um, I had a, it was, I know it was before smartphones or before I ever had a smartphone. I had a Creative Zen MP3 player. I used to listen to music on it. So I connected it to my computer, plugged the thumb drive into my computer and transferred over Dean Koontz Cold Fire. Now Dean Koontz Cold Fire, it was a pretty interesting book. Um, the basic premise of that book was you had this man that he would get these urges like like a sense that he needs to be somewhere and he has to be there by a certain time. So he just drops whatever he does and he goes to that location. That location could be anywhere. It could be, you know, in the city, in the state, he would just drop whatever he's doing at the time and rush on over to that area, not knowing why he just got this urge that leads him there. So when he gets there, there's always something that happens where someone needs help and he saves someone. It could be a kid in a burning, you know, in a build, burning building, or it could be someone about to drown or someone about to get hit by a car, whatever the case may be, he'll get these urges. He'll show up at that location at the specific time that the urge tells him to be there. And something is going on where he end up helping someone or saving someone. It was a very cinematic book. I'm surprised that it hasn't been made a movie yet. When I read it, when I read it, well, when I was listening to it, it felt like I was listening to a movie, you know, it, it had a very cinematic feel to it. To be honest with you, I never finished it. Something happened at the time. I don't know. This was years ago. Something happened at the time where I got distracted and, and I never got back to listening to that audiobook. So after that, it was years before I tried audiobooks again. So the next time I tried audiobooks was probably about 10 years later. I was reading the George R.R. R. Martin a Song of Ice and Fire series. I heard about the series from a, from a podcast, but they did a review of the of the first book, Game of Thrones, which that's probably what everybody knows. They did a review of that book and it sounds so interesting. I went and bought the book and read it. It was a big book. It was like a thousand pages. So I bought the first book, read it. And a little while later, I bought the second book, read it. And then it was so much reading because those books are so large that after that, I said, I'm going to give it a break. You know, I think it was one or two more books that were available. I was like, I'm going to give it a break and come back to it. A little while after that was when they announced that there was going to be a Game of Thrones movie. So I wanted to finish out all of the books before the, before the series came out, before the HBO TV series came on. Being that I had already read the first two books. You know, I didn't want to watch the series with only half the books read. When it comes to situations like that, I like to have either read the media, the book or whatever is based on before watching the series or watch the series without having any knowledge of the book. The situation I was in at that time, I was halfway. I had read two of the books. There were some more books left over and I didn't want to watch the series until all of the books were read, all of the books that were available at the time, as if you know, you know, all of the books still aren't available. We're still waiting on the last one. What was going on was at the time I had just gotten a new job. So you know how it is when you get a new job, you have a lot of other stuff on your mind. You got to get acclimated to the new, to your new role. I just didn't feel like I would be able to get the motivation enough to sit down and read a thousand page book. So I decided, you know, I'll get the audiobook. So I went on Amazon, bought the audiobook. 
the way I listened to it was I would listen to it while I was at work. But when I was doing things where I didn't have to deal with other people, like when I was working on my own, working at my desk, stuff like that, I would listen to it. And then when I had to actually go out and deal with people, things where I had to pay attention to somebody and talk to somebody, then I, I wouldn't listen to it. So listening to it that way, I finished listening to the book, but it took two weeks. You know, it took two weeks of doing that every day while I was at work. And after I finished, I thought about it. I was like, you know, I could have read the book faster than that. You know, it seemed like it took longer to listen to it than it did to read it. After that, I never, I didn't get back into audiobooks again. That was the only one I, I listened to. Then I think it was a third book and there was a fourth book that I ended up just buying and reading that way. It was still a few years after that, that I, that I had that moment. I had that moment where I listened to an audiobook and I was like, ah, I get it. And I got completely hooked and I'll, and I'll tell you how that happened. Okay, so I used to listen to this podcast, the tech podcast. At the end of this podcast, they used to always do an advertisement for an affiliate link for Audible. You know, you buy, you, you get the first month for free and two free books, and then they would always recommend two books for you to get with your, your free Audible subscription, which was an affiliate link for that particular podcast, which I'm gonna include that same affiliate link, which will be my affiliate link in the show notes. If you wanna take advantage of that same deal. One day I got it. I, I got the, they listed a book that I was interested in, you know, in their recommendation, which you can pick whichever book you want, but they used to always give recommendations, I guess, just to you, just so like, if you were like me and was like, you know, I wouldn't mind trying audible, but I don't have anything in mind right now that I would want to listen to. So they would give recommendations so that you have a guide, something to start on. So they listed a recommendation that I was interested in. So I got the the program, the trial from their affiliate link. And I got my free month of Audible and I got my two free books. Well, after I got my two free books, for some reason, I couldn't get started on listening to those two. So I started looking for something else. And I was just doing searches online, looking on Reddit and YouTube and and uh, various places where I would look, looking for audio books that people you know recommended as good audio books. So one book that I ended up hearing about was a book titled 14 by an author named Peter Klein. Now, I'd never heard of the author before, which that doesn't mean anything. I'm like I said in a previous video, I'm bad with names. So a lot of times I got to hear author's name a million times before I actually start to remember that particular author. So I read the synopsis of the book and then I looked at what people were saying about the book and it sounded like it was something that was right up my alley. It had a cast of colorful characters that were all interacting with each other with the witty banter. There was a bunch of creepy sci-fi stuff going on in the book. So I was like, okay, I'll listen to it. I'll get it. I'll download it and listen to it and, you know, see how it goes. I was like, if, if I don't like it, then I'll just cancel out my Audible subscription and that'll be another ending for my audio book journey. So I downloaded the book and I started listening to it and I got so hooked on that book. It's like I listened to the whole book over the course of a day or two days and I got so hooked on that book. And, and this was a weekend. I, I mean, I listened to it on a weekend. I wasn't, it wasn't like I was listening to it while I was at the gym or while I was at work or something like that. I listened to it on a weekend, on a Saturday. I just started it like when I got out the shower and I was fixing breakfast or whatever on a Saturday morning, I just started listening to it, thinking I would listen to it for about 10 minutes and then go on and do whatever else I was gonna do that day. Ended up listening to it all day long. Every time I wasn't doing anything, I went back to listening to it. So by the end of that weekend, I had finished that book and I was so into that book. It, like I said, it had everything that I liked when it comes to reading books. You know, it was just so interesting and I couldn't understand why. So I I was like, OK, this Peter Klein's guy, he's he's you know, he's what's up. So I decided to get another one of his books. So I went and started looking, looking up Peter Klein's. I got some more of his books and I listened to him and they all were like that. I I listened, I put them on and I listened to him straight through whichever day I started it, whether, whether I was at work or at home or at the gym or whatever. It's like once I started one, I was hooked on it and I listened to it, you know, every moment I had to listen to audio books until it was done. Before you know it, I was finished with all his books. So I was like, OK, let me see if I can find something else, you know, find another book that I can get into like that. So I got another book. And it was one that is well reviewed. Another book that a lot of people was talking about, another sci fi style book. A lot of people were talking about it was well reviewed. So I was like, OK, this would be another one that I like. So I put the audio book in and I started listening to it and 
I hated it. And it wasn't because of the book. The book had things that I liked in it. The story seemed fine, but for some reason I just couldn't listen to it. And I, and I, and I didn't understand why. I gave up on that audiobook. So I went back and I found another one, tried it again. Well, tried the different one. Same deal. I just couldn't get into it. Started looking and I started thinking and I was like, what is it about these books that I can read and be fine with them when I'm reading them? But the audiobook I couldn't get into because the ones I couldn't get into, I ended up reading them and and I liked them. You know, I, I liked them just as much as I liked the other ones. I just couldn't understand why. But then it hit me. It's not necessarily the book. It's the narrator. The narrator for the Peter Klein's book, he had the same person narrating all of his books. And this guy was so good that he just is, I mean, he just now he's just really good at narrating a book. I think I could listen to him reading the phone book. His name is Ray Porter. When I realized that I said, you know, let's see what else Ray Porter has out there. So it brought me to another series that I probably would have never thought to look at if it wasn't for me looking for books that was narrated by Ray Porter. And this series is, I'm not sure what the name of it is, it's the Bobby Burr series is, is written by uh, Dennis E. Taylor. And it's another sci-fi book. It's a quirky sci-fi book about, um, about a, a man who went into this program where he clones, like he clones his mind and is stored on a computer. And it's supposed to be for science where, you know, at some point the technology is supposed to come where if he dies, his brain could be uploaded into another body or something like that. It, it, in the book, it wasn't invented yet when he did the thing and he just did it just because, you know, but all of a sudden he gets hit by a car and he wakes up. I want to say it's 500 years later. And when he wakes up, he his, is his is his mind that's in a computer that's in like a a computer that that controls a ship. And then he goes on all of these adventures trying to rebuild the universe and the world and all of that stuff, because Earth is kind of like they were on, the, on its last legs. But it was pretty good. There's three books in that series, and I've listened to all three of them. And there's a fourth book that just came out recently that I have purchased already, but I haven't started listening to. But yeah, that's that's how I got it started with audiobooks. And now, you know, since since that time, I've listened to so many audiobooks. I, I still have that subscription to Audible and this and when I first signed up for that temporary subscription, that was probably, um, let's see, I'm going to base my time based on Game of Thrones. If you know when Game of Thrones was out, I want to say it was probably after the first season of Game of Thrones is when I started that audiobook, that Audible subscription. And I still have it. I don't always buy Audible books. I'm, I, I go in and out. Sometimes I'll buy a ton of them. Sometimes I'll buy so many that I exceed the credits that I have that comes with the subscription and I'm purchasing books outside of the credits. And sometimes I may not buy any for a couple of months at a time and, and my credits will build up. And if you like this video, make sure you click the like button down below, click subscribe and hit the bell. And I'll see you next time.